What is interference? Before we talk about interference, we need to understand the definition of a radio channel. A channel is the physical space or frequency where the desired radio signal resides. In our example, as the knob moves, a different channel is selected as noted by the color bar. Each color represents a different frequency in the radio spectrum. Hey, EPMP man! The signal that resides inside the channel is inherently imperfect due to unwanted emissions and intermodulation distortion. The skirts of the signal spill out onto the adjacent channel and into the desired channel, interfering with the desired signal. This will cause the throughput to suffer. With filtering, adjacent channels are cleaned up and they no longer interfere with the desired channel and throughput is improved. So what happens when two or more signals are in the same channel at the same time? The red co-channel interferer, as it's called, will cause distortion in the desired signal, causing reduced throughput. Since co-channel interference is on the same frequency as the desired signal, it is difficult to get rid of using signal processing. Most point-to-multipoint -point deployments use a sector antenna with an access point. Here, the antenna's beam width captures the co-channel interference caused by other transmitters in the same channel. In this example, some transmitter in red is distorting the desired uplink signals in green. With uplink beam forming, it is possible to steer null where the interfering signal is present and steer the main beam of the antenna to where the desired signal is originating from. Thus, the co-channel interference has been avoided and throughput is maximized.